Hi, sorry this video is so late. I messed up my arm really bad last week and uh, I'll tell you about that after the show. Today we have a lot of stuff to talk about. I think I discovered all the lore of the game. Like all of it. Like the whole thing of it. So all the information in today's video comes from AshesPost.com. They did all the research, they did all the work, they got all the stuff together, and I'm just reporting on it. Okay, so according to AshesPost.com, there were ten beings, ten gods, ten entities, whatever. They decided to create a race of people. Each of the ten gave the people something of themselves, so that the ancients have all the quantities of the ten. So then at some point, three of the ten decided to teach the ancients magic. And that caused a lot of conflict inside the ten. Seven of the ten didn't want them to learn magic. Three of them did. So there was a big fight and a big battle, and the three that wanted to teach the magic and the ancients were banished into the void. After that, the remaining seven created four more races of people, humans, elves, orcs, and dwarves. But they didn't give them all the powers of the ten because they learned from their mistakes. That's what Ashes says that Stephen says. The three and the ancients were banished to the void, and the seven and the four races were left on Vera. So now we have the complete picture. We know the whole story. After the three get and the ancients get banished to the void, the void is space, they take off for a while, and then they come back, and they squash Dilia's mom, and they beat everybody up on the planet. They imprison the seven in the ground, in the trees, in the icebergs, everywhere, and then they corrupt Vera. While all this is happening, the regular people, that's you and me, we build the portals and flee to Sanctus. At Sanctus, we regroup and now we're coming back to take Vera. We're coming home to make Vera great again. With a vengeance. <laughs> you see? And that's the story. I think that's the lore. That's the whole deal of it. It sounds pretty simple, like a simple story, but once you flesh it in, it'll get all interesting and stuff. Why did they want to teach the ancients magic? Why wouldn't they take no for an answer? What happens when they did teach them magic? Were there betrayals? Were there love stories? Were there some serious moral decisions to be made? Once you fill in the details of the story, that's where it gets good. First up is the Alan humans. A-E is pronounced A as in hand and and. So it's Alan humans. So something 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 the Great House of Lineth. Who's Lineth? I have no idea. Stephen Sharif's daughter, his ex-girlfriend, his wife, his imaginary childhood friend? I have no idea. But Lineth has fallen. The House of Lineth has fallen. And now the Ellen humans are governed by the Council of Five. The Council of Five is made up of the five greatest mayors in the Ellen human empire. So the top five mayors make up the government. That's a problem. How are you going to have elections on Vera? Are you going to campaign? Are there going to be flyers posted in the taverns? How is that going to happen? What I think is... I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. We'll speculate on that later. <laughs> Next up are the Kyvek orcs. So the Kyvek orcs they used to be a bunch of small tribes spread out all over the planet, and they were in their own individual skirmishes with people. Some were fighting humans, some were fighting elves, dwarves, and everything else. And then a famous guy named Ran Call came along, and he united all the weird tribes. So think of it like a guild. There's a bunch of people fighting all over the place, and they're getting beat up. So Ran Call comes along and says, Hey, let's form like a an alliance together and protect each other. He called this alliance the Kyvek Protectorate. The Kyvek act kind of like a guild with a bad leader. Some of the people in the Protectorate don't want to protect the small fries because they're not pulling their weight 
they're not getting the kills and all the points and all that stuff. They're like, just protect the big guys at the top because we do all the work, blah, blah, blah. They just want all the points and all the loot for themselves. And the only reason they have the small guys around is to have more people in their guild, I guess. And that's what's going on at the moment in the Kyvek Protectorate. Instead of protecting everybody, especially the small guys who need it the most, they only want to protect their top three or four friends at the top. Next up are the Dunes and Cal Dwarves. U with an umlaut is pronounced U as in foot. So it's Dunes and Cal foot. <laughs> it's Dunes and Cal. I hate that stupid word. It's the dwarves, the ones that live in the mountains. The Dunes and Cal Dwarves are ruled by a council of guilds who vote on a leader every 200 years. Most of the time, they're led by a woman because it's a matriarchal society. That means the woman is in charge. However, at the moment, they're being led by a man with a big man body. And his name is King Grimley. It's rumored that the Dunsenkel dwarves have a secret alliance with the Tolnar. And that's where they get their knowledge of weapons making or something. There's some kind of sneaky thing going on between them and the Tolnar. The Pyrian elves are kind of like the... They're kind of like um, the British people. They have a government, but they also have a royal family. And the two of them don't really like each other. But it's the government that rules. They live in the forest, but it's rumored that there are dark elves that live underground. There's one more government to talk about. It's not really a government. It's called the Academy of Human Wizards. It's made up of the strongest, most powerful wizards in the world, and they convene in a thing called the Council of Knowledge. They're not involved in politics. They just love magic. Think of it as the Ministry of Magic in Harry Potter. That's a thing that exists in the game, too. Now, magic is the manipulation of the essence. The essence is something that exists throughout the universe, all over the place, everywhere. By manipulating the essence, you can either create good magic or dark magic. And the Council of Knowledge, they're the ones that teach you the stuff. So that's what we know about the lore and the four of the governments. There's a lot more info on AshesPost.com. I purposely left out a bunch of details so you could go to their website and check it out. They did a lot of hard work. You'll be amazed when you see that website. They have a timeline and everything.